So we're heading into fall and we're thinking about the fall planting time, the gardening for the fall. But one of the things we don't want to forget is our flower seeds for next year. And so these are starting to die back and this is when I start cutting my little flower heads so I can get my seeds for next year. These work really wonderful. I forgot the name of them. Um, Cosmos or something like that. I forgot. I really forgot the name of it. If I remember the name of it, I'll put it down into the description. And all I do is cut these heads off, make sure they're dried out. I let them sit out onto a plate or something other or a canning box and make sure they get plenty of airflow. Let these little seedlings dry out for about three weeks. And then I'll break it up and once they're dried out really good because you don't let them dry out really good then they'll mold but i'll let them sit there for whenever i get to it honestly and then i'll turn around ruffle these up get these little seedlings out put them in a ziploc bag and put them up for next year these type of plants can just the seeds can just fall to the ground and start germinating and spring up but i love these there's only like three plants in here so really, I don't need as many seeds as I've already got going on here. But what I like to do, it, they're, they look, a little flower heads look differently. You have some round ones, and uh, you have some that's round. Very beautiful. They're all different colors. And then you have one, uh, let me see if I can find another one have some they just come out different shapes they really attract the bees and the butterflies and the wasps wasps are good pollinators but all i'm going to be doing is going out here cutting me some seeds for next year these do last a long time i've had some before i think these were like four or five year old seeds and they still came up and i just sprinkle it onto the ground the little the little seeds i have put up and put some little potting soil or just put some dirt over the top of it and keep it watered and they spring up but don't forget your seeds for spring don't forget your flower seeds for spring thanks guys for watching and i'll see you on to the next video well now what i'm going to do is uh i got more than i need but i always save more seeds than i need in case i can give somebody some but um i'm just going to cut these down and start getting this bed here amended for fall check out these roots this was just laying on the ground and it rooted Since these are long branches here, I like to cut it off at the base. Now you can just pull them up, but this makes it a lot easier by just cutting them at the base. 